Hello, friends. Happy Saturday to all of you. Republicans and Democrats are now debating on whether a fourth stimulus package is actually necessary, and top GOP lawmakers have proposed a fourth round of relief payments. However, they would be only one-time checks instead of monthly recurring deposits. Democrats are also trying to move forward with the budget reconciliation process. Without Senator Joe Manchin's support, dear friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video for all of these new details. I will be giving away a seventy-five dollar Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, please make sure you click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning. The Walmart gift card giveaway. And friends, please stay tuned because at the end of this video, I will be announcing today's winner. I'm sure every congressman who's been back in their district for the last two weeks heard the same thing as the number one issue that's facing the American public right now, and that's inflation. Be it gas, even more food, even more housing, again and again and again. Now people say, "How are you going to get around that?" It's it's simple to get around it. It's just sometimes a little more difficult, and that is saying, finally saying no to the excessive government spending around here that has forced the Federal Reserve to print dollars and decrease the value of the dollar. Within the next couple weeks, we are going to vote on appropriation bills for the budget year beginning October 1st. Let's look. Are we holding the line? Transportation and HUD, 12 percent increase. Water. Seven percent increase. Financial services and general government, sixteen percent increase. Interior and VA, I'm sorry, interior, eighteen percent increase. Military construction VA, eleven percent increase. Twelve, eight, seven, Fire. sixteen. Congress is not yet adapted to the new crisis. Thank you. Gentlemen's time has. Centrist Senator Joe Manchin recently pumped the brakes on negotiations. With Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer over a budget reconciliation bill, warning that it needs to be scrubbed much better. After a new report showed that inflation hit 9.1 percent in June, Senator Manchin told reporters he can only agree to the prescription reform component of the bill, which already has been sent to Senate Parliamentarians' office and has the support of all 50 members of the Democratic Caucus. Senator Joe Manchin said. That the deficit reduction is going to be 50 percent of the new revenue gained from prescription savings and tax reforms, such as a 3.8 percent tax on wealthy individuals and couples who earn more than $400,000 or $500,000 from pass-through businesses. Senator Manchin said the latest inflation report showing prices have increased by 9.1 percent compared to just a year ago. Means that negotiators are going to have to slow down, and proceed more cautiously, on putting together the new budget bill. But friends, Joe Manchin did not rule out including a provision to continue subsidies of the health insurance plans provided under the Affordable Care Act, explaining that whether he could agree to extend subsidies would depend on how they are drafted and paid for. He also said. It depends on if we can look at things and find a pathway forward that is not inflammatory. But the West Virginia senator also emphasized that he is more inclined to keep the spending in the bill as modest as possible to avoid further stimulating an overheated economy. Manchin also said there's been no talk of lifting the cap on the state and local tax deduction, something that two Democrats from the Northeast, who are Representative Josh Gottheimer. And Tom Suzozzi are demanding, but even though Manchin has expressed his opposition to the bill, all Democrats are still pushing for this bill to be passed. Another four states can be added to the list of those who are providing their residents with much-needed financial boosts, as inflation hiked prices for the majority of products. As for the city of Chicago, those who qualify for the universal basic income payments received their first check early this week. As Mayor Lori Lightfoot announced that the checks were sent out to more than 3,500 households, eligible citizens will receive $500 universal basic income payments for one year, 
it'll be via direct deposit or through a prepaid debit card. Also, the state of Maine just sent out more than 450,000 relief payments to date, with thousands more set to hit mailboxes in the next coming weeks. The $850 checks, approved early this year by a bipartisan majority in the legislature, which is part of the budget signed by Governor Janet Mills, will go to about 850,000 Mainers. The state is processing about 200,000 checks per week, and most residents should receive their checks by the end of this month. The $1.2 billion state budget approved in April set aside more than half the total amount to be sent back to Mainers during the recent calls for suspension of the state gas tax, which Governor Mills opposes. She has pointed to the state relief checks as a way for Mainers to cover high gas and grocery costs. Delaware state officials have also proposed $300 stimulus checks to help them offset the impact of inflation. The Delaware stimulus checks would go to residents who filed a 2020 tax return. The lawmakers in the state House and Senate said they have reached a consensus on a direct payment plan. Lawmakers will come up with the official legislation and the authorities would use the state's $1 billion surplus to send the Delaware stimulus checks. The proposal is expected to be fast-tracked as it enjoys the support from both the Republicans and Democrats. This Delaware stimulus check is estimated to help about 600,000 residents of Delaware. Well, my fantastic and amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here this Saturday night. And I truly hope that you found this video helpful. The winner of today's Walmart gift card giveaway is Rita Roberts. Congratulations, dear friend. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Thank you so much, dear friends, and have a wonderful and blessed weekend.